when I request Unix team for a new file system, the Unix team in turn works with storage team for disk allocation. When they allocate a new magnetic disk, it is just a blank slate. It is just a platter of magnetic recording material. This is one platter. A disk can have multiple platters. If I take one platter, it has two surfaces, surface one and surface at the down. Before this platter can store the data, it must be divided into tracks. It must be divided into tracks like this, where each track in turn divided into sectors. For example, 512 byte sector, 1KB sector. This process of dividing disk into tracks and sectors is called as low level formatting or physical formatting. Generally, this process is done in factory itself as part of disk manufacturing process. Can we just use this physically formatted disk to hold our files? Answer is no. First, OS needs to record its own data structures. It is a two step process. In step number one, it will partition the disk into one or more group of cylinders. What is a cylinder? All the tracks that fall under same read write head. These are called as one cylinder. Partition the disk into one or more groups of cylinders. The OS can treat each partition as though it were a separate disk. I can partition this disk into multiple partitions and I can present the partition as separate disk itself. Once I partition my disk, the next step is operating system stores the initial file system data structures on the disk or that partition. These data structures may include maps of free and allocated space and an initial empty directory to start with. In summary, the disk formatting process involves three major steps. Physical formatting, which is mostly done in the disk manufacturing process. Partition, which is under the supervision of OS and logical partitioning or creation of a file system. Of course, OS supervises this process. Let's look at some of the terminology we come across disk formatting activity. Raw disk versus cooked file systems. In this three step process, if I eliminate logical partitioning, that is a creation of a file system on top of a partition, this partition is called raw disk. Some applications, especially database systems, support working directly with raw disk. If a database system directly works with raw disk, the database system avoids operating system involvement in input or output. Few databases claim it is much faster to use raw disk than cooked files. It has its own pros and cons. What is cooked file system? Yeah, if a file system goes through these three steps, then it is a cooked file system. A disk can have more than one platter, of course. A disk can be sliced into more than one partitions. Yes, of course. A volume can span multiple partitions on multiple disks. Please note that creation of file system is not just enough. The file system has to be mounted for utilizing it for normal operations. As part of this mount process, operating system verifies that the device contains a valid file system or not. By default, the root partition forward slash is mounted as part of boot process. Generally, as a normal user, of Unix or Linux operating systems, we don't involve in the file system creation. All we do is submit a request to Unix team or operating system team so that they work in the background with all these terminologies. However, it's good to know the underlying concept. That's it for this lecture.